Hi, I'm Cheryl Leach. In this example, we're asked to find the derivative dy dx at the point pi over 6, pi over 6. And we're asked to do it using implicit differentiation. Well, let's talk a minute about why that would be important. I'm looking at my equation sine x plus cosine of 2y equals 1. One option would be for me to solve this equation for y and proceed with differentiation as usual, but that's going to be very difficult to do. So I think implicit differentiation is the way to go. So let's go ahead and talk about implicit differentiation. Remember, you want to differentiate both sides of your equation. So I'm going to start with that left-hand side. The left-hand side is a sum, so I'll take the derivative of each piece individually. So the first part asks to take the derivative of the sine of x. Well, that's just the cosine of x. The second term is a little trickier. It's a composite function. I'm composing 2y with the cosine function. Well, the main operation is cosine, so I'm going to begin there. The derivative of cosine is minus sine, so I'm going to have minus sine of 2y. But now I have to take the derivative of the inside piece of that composite function, and the derivative of 2y is going to be 2 times dy dx, because remember, I'm differentiating with respect to x. Okay, so I've taken care of the left-hand side of my equation. Now I need to differentiate the right-hand side. The derivative of a constant is always 0, so the derivative of 1 is 0. Now what I need to do is a little simplification, and then I want to isolate the dy dx on one side. So let's write this as the cosine of x minus 2 dy dx times the sine of 2y equals 0. And now I want to get this second term, because it's the only one with the dy dx, I want to get it isolated on one side. I think it's going to be easiest to move it to the right-hand side. So I'm going to have cosine of x equals 2 times dy dx times the sine of 2y. Now, what I want to do is isolate that dy dx. So I can accomplish this by dividing both sides by 2 and by the sine of 2y. So dy dx is going to equal the cosine of x divided by 2 times the sine of 2y. All right, so I have my derivative. I'd like to find out what that value is at the point pi over 6, pi over 6. So what I need to do is plug in pi over 6 for x and pi over 6 for y. So we'll say at the point pi over 6, pi over 6, dy dx is going to equal the cosine of pi over 6 divided by 2 times the sine of 2 times pi over 6. All right, let's do a little simplifying. I've got the cosine of pi over 6 divided by 2 times the sine of 2 times pi over 6 is going to be the same thing as pi over 3. Now these are both special angles, so you should be able to evaluate the cosine and the sine of these special angles. The cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. So I'm going to divide that by 2 times the sine of pi over 3. Well, the sine of pi over 3 is also the square root of 3 all over 2. Those numbers cancel, and I'm left with a value of 1 half. So the derivative of my equation at the point pi over 6, pi over 6 is 1 half. I hope that helped. Thanks.